Start. Started washing the airplane. I'm gonna have a clean, clean plane. That's total bonus. All right, so we are going to today take the truck. I got to load it up with all kinds of cool stuff. We're gonna go wash the plane today. It's gonna be a hot one today. Got my uh, my sun protecting shirt on, and uh, we will uh, wash the plane. And I plan on waxing it today. Uh, all in preparation for a trip to uh, South Dakota. So looking forward to uh, washing the plane for the first time. I've never done this before. So it's gonna be a new experience for me and maybe you. So let's go, uh, get ready to go. Got all my gear put in here. Got my big water tank back here. Got a hundred gallons in it. Got my power washer. I do not have water. They're accessible at the airport, so I have to bring my own. So I have this big giant water tank that a friend of mine gave me. And uh, it's only been used for water, no chemicals, no nothing. And so uh, it's kind of nice having this so I can uh, wash the airplane or wash anything I need. So we will jump in the truck and head on out. So this is the first time I've ever had to wash an airplane. Probably screw this up and I'll probably wash off all the dirt that's plugging up all the holes that makes it go faster and keep it from leaking. So, but uh, we're gonna give this thing a go. I've got my trusty power washer here. Pull this sucker out. I've got my hose for my tank. And I got Dawn dishwashing soap because it works great on grease. So, we're gonna see if that works. I don't know how I'm gonna tackle this, but I'm gonna tackle it the best way I can. And uh, hopefully this will go smoothly. I won't have too many issues. We'll get everything set up and we'll uh, get started. Get started washing the airplane. I'm gonna have a clean, clean plane. That's total bonus. All right, got her done. Got her all cleaned up. It uh, it was a challenge. I had to get underneath there with the creeper. There was a lot of oil on the bottom side of that thing. We had a small oil leak that I fixed on the last oil change. Um, so I had some anti-rust corrosion prevent prevent preventative all bleeding down the back side of it underneath. But it is now clean. It looks a lot better than it did. A lot uh, shinier. We are gonna make it even shinier than this. We're going to wax it. So we're going to push it back in the hanger and uh, get her waxed. This is, uh, this makes me feel better. You know, you have a, have a piece of equipment like this, you got to take care of it. You know, my father always told me, if you take care of your vehicle, your vehicle will take care of you. So uh, always maintain your vehicles. Make sure that they run. And if something's breaking, fix it right away. Tell you what, Mike Rose got nothing on me. This was a dirty, dirty job, but I'm glad it's done. All right, I got my plane put back in the hangar. I decided not to buff this thing. The type of orbital buffer I have isn't fast enough to be able to remove anything. So it's just gonna stay kind of this hazy looking until I get to it done next time. So uh, you can see how uh, in the paint here, how it's um, kind of, it's not like a mirror, it's more of a hazy type deal. It still looks good. Um, still looks good, but I, what I wanna try to do is try to get, um, try to get this thing buffed to a, a shine, like a mirror shine. Um, it shines pretty good, but not, uh, not a awesome. I mean, it's an older paint job, so um, 
probably end up having to get this thing painted within the next couple of years. But, but for the most part, it's, um, it's clean, which is good, which is huge. I really like it being clean. And, uh, and she's right now peeing all over my floor in my hangar here. So that's water coming out. I hope it's water. I hope it's not me scrubbing the dirt and grime and opening up a hole where uh, fuel can leak, but uh, got my uh, hair nation going like too. Evening. So At 11 I'm a hair nation guy. Pacific over on Ozzy's Boneyard. So, Channel anyway, where you get to hang out with Dr. excited to uh, to be done, be cleaned up. I'll uh, go back home, put all this stuff away. Some more work, and um, come out here tomorrow morning, fire up this bird, head up, pick up Taylor, and then we're gonna go to Mount Rushmore, hoping the weather's good. As somebody's taking off out of Ames, looks like that's four one six one niner. That's the exact plane I got my license in. Awesome. Just got students going up here. And uh, we'll hope that that is not fuel leaking. That would be tragic. That would mean that no, no trip to uh, up north. I'm gonna, in fact, I'm gonna check it before I leave, but. Yep, excited it's done. All right, after looking at the aircraft, I decided that it was dripping a lot of water. I wanted to make sure I got the water out. And so I'm going to fly it. <laughs> uh, it's not a bad day. It's a little hazy out, but um, but I think that we can uh, manage to get get up in the sky, maybe do some pattern work, uh, do a couple of takeoffs and landings. Um, doesn't hurt to get some practice in, so that's what we'll do. Um, what well, right tank? And um, we'll do this. We'll make it happen. All right, let's burn some fuel, buddy. First of all, we're going to get the pump on. I can hear it running. Re that's money. Uh, fuel pump's running. Got fuel pressure came up. Mixture's full rich. Going to pump this one, two, three, four, and give it a little crack. And we'll clear them up. Up, up. And as it's spun, what happens? As it's spun, what happens? There's pretty much water everywhere. That's not fun. Get the Ice Maker 2000 going because, man, it is warm out. Hey, welcome. Glenn, you taxi him back to the ramp. Hey, everybody. Copy, I'll hold here. I'm going to take 01 today. Those are some pretty awesome planes. <laughs> Talk about money, money for fuel. What are you up to today, Chris? I'm just gonna be in the pattern. I just washed this thing and there was a lot of water on it. I just wanted to dry it off rather than hand dry it. I'm gonna fly it around for a second. Beautiful day for it, nice light wind. That's nice. Going to Mount Rushmore tomorrow. Hey, Chris, we'll go ahead and hold try to Alpha for you. Perfect, I'll scoop by. Ames traffic, we need some fives crossing one, three, three, one. Ames. And we're just bumping down the runway, or the uh, taxiway here, taxiway Alpha, all the way to 01. It's the longest taxi that we have. Um, from the hangars, we have a 5,000 foot runway, it's 100 feet wide, which is kind of nice. Um, it's a big one. It's a big one! And it's nice because on windy days, that could be a, be the savior. I did, when I first got this airplane, we were um, struggling with landings a little bit, kind of off center and thing would want to jet to the right on me really hard when I landed and end up changing a tire on that plane because uh, one of them was, uh, was pretty worn. So I changed that tire and boy, I tell you what, it made a world of difference in landings and uh, made landings a lot easier for me, not so mentally unstabling. Because <laughs> I tell you what, um, using that uh, Flight of Piper and 
and it came in landed really well. A little easy. Um, straight down the runway, it was real nice. And then coming into this, it was kind of a, a sketch thing. But uh, I can tell you that uh, this uh, this plane has uh, gotten used to it, got some uh, got an understanding of it, and how to how to land it properly, and it's getting a lot easier. So. It doesn't track like that Piper does, but uh, you also have to come in a lot faster with this. We're going to do a run up real quick while we're here. Let's turn this bad boy around. Alright. Okay, I hope you get a good view. Here we go. Traffic, Moody 875 is departing from runway 01. I'm going to stand a pattern. Aim. All right, maybe let's burn some fuel. That lights are on. And hit it down to 01. We'll give us some fuel. Let's burn some fuel, baby. Windows are shut, windows are shut. And we are headed down the runway. And we're at airspeeds alive, everything's in the green. 60, 70, and she's just getting real light. That's pretty awesome. I want to make some speed here. Stop set. Oh, gear. Downwind, runway 01, Ames. 